Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here to talk to you guys about Brown 2 ESDA and everything that transpired. Definitely an amazing event. Can't thank the staff from ESDA enough for everything they did allowing me the chance to go into battles as well as try and qualify for 32 here for ESD round two at Megaspace. You guys are watching the warm-up session that was happening before our qualifying runs. I figured I'd throw it in the cockpit so you guys could kind of see what Megaspace looked like from in the car here in Connor's GTR. You can see an NRG wheel in there. Definitely an amazing looking wheel and I love the way the wheel looks. So like I said, round two of ESDA here at Megaspace was an amazing experience for myself. And I cannot even, you know, put into words the experience that I had. It was an awesome experience being able to be in the lobby with some of these amazing competition drivers, getting a chance, you know, to put my best effort forward and try and qualify for the round. So I also do have my battles my battle runs from my perspective as well as the stream from the podium series if you guys didn't watch it podium esports on twitch they were brought in broadcasting and running the event on saturday so i do have their you know camera views and everything and their commentary of the runs from round two of esda so as i said it was a very very insane event we did touch grass luckily that was just in practice so we ended up going into qualifying and i have my buddy Christmas in my ear on basically a spotting comms and he was uh there you know telling me you know just do what I gotta do you know what I need to do and things like that so after qualifying you guys will see my qualifying runs I thought were I was very happy with my qualifying runs at, but once the judges actually gave up the scores and my line was my line and style scores were okay it was my angle score that was not the greatest. This GTR cannot hold as much angle as I was comfortable in as some of the other cars in the field. So my angle score suffered. My line score was pretty good on both runs. You'll see, we'll watch the replay. You'll guys, there's some spots in my qualifying runs where I could have been a little bit deeper and a little bit better in the zones. But um, other than that, it was the angle that actually did me in. So I was unable to qualify for 32. I don't know why I just drove right into that guy. I was unable to qualify in for 32, but I was in the celebrity battle right before Final Four against Josh, one of the competitors that was in the Great Eight and got knocked out. So it was fun to go against him. It was actually his birthday weekend or birthday. You know, everybody was wishing him a happy birthday. So it was great to go against him. So you guys will see all of the battle stuff after the qualifying runs and you guys will hear the commentators about who won the battle and things like that. If you guys weren't watching the actual podium esports um, broadcast on Twitch. So definitely a big thank you to everybody that helped me with round two. You know, I tandem guys for helping me practice and get some doors and practice tandem. You know, I tandem Maddie and Jack for coming up with a bass tune and a solid tune for the car to where I felt super comfortable in the car it from the get go. And you know, if I could get the car to hold the angle how I'd like it to, you know, it would have been even more competitive. But you know, the GTR was lacking a little bit of grip. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep up with some people, but, you know, it was something, you know, this is a learning season for me. I will be coming back in round four of ESDA, but my sights are now set forward to go to US Drift that's happening this weekend. You guys are going to hear more about that here on the channel this week. So we're going to get into my qualifying runs. We're going to digress those and kind of watch them. I'll go with the box cam because the replay camera is not the greatest for some reason for me. So we're going to go into the box cam for the qualifying runs and we'll digress those qualifying runs and I'll let you guys know what I thought as well as you guys can see the qualifying runs. So my first qualifying run up, die running that light. My first qualifying run up, I was a little bit on the nervous side, but not too bad. You know, having my buddy Nate in there definitely helped. So as you can see, I did a nice hard flick entry like I was practicing. Kind of got out to the zone, but the angle was not really there. And I was able to stretch out to that zone pretty well. I was a little bit off on this zone. I could have gone deeper in the beginning, and I kind of managed to not get all the way out to that zone, not two tires. This transition was a little bit short, and on the wall towards the end was great. I was a little bit off that front clip on there. And then going into that clip, we were okay. This one was 
somewhat decent but I came up very short on that outer zone as you can see so overall the run did not zero so that was definitely a big win for me that I didn't actually zero the run and I had points on the board so the next round I was like alright well we're gonna go a little bit higher we're gonna do a little bit more aggressive on that run so we're gonna pan over to my second qualifying run here and we're going to talk about the second qualifying run which was a lot better in some zones and things like that so definitely was a much better run it only scored a little bit higher but you know unfortunately like I said I was lacking the angle that the judges wanted to see and I was just struggling to keep angle with this GTR so once again my nice hard flick entry which was working for me was able to get out to zone not fully out there but I was able to tuck up on that front clip there was doing pretty well on that outer zone there a very kind of gentle roll I was able to fill this zone much better with a little left foot break a little foot break to get in there came off a little soon this flick was much harder but I was still a little bit off the zone I managed to tighten up that front clip there kind of a little bit of a weird line here which kind of almost screwed me up but I was able to get the car out to the zone and then hook it back in and finish the run out strong so qualifying definitely had some things I could have worked on and things like that and then we decided to just yeet it over the hill so overall it was definitely great to you know get my feet wet here in ESDA for round two so we're gonna go take a look at the battles because like I said I did not end up calling for 32 so we are just gonna go into the battles where I got to battle Josh in the exhibition celebrity match you're gonna see from my perspective with the wheel cam and everything as well as from the podium esports twitch feed with all the commentary and stuff like that so let's go get to it so battling against Josh was definitely fun right, guys, from UCTX as you can see we're waiting for the call to get ready lining up I got the chase first and I was a bit struggling when it comes to the chase I was unable to keep up with Josh's car his car was really gripped up and really fast and the GTR just wasn't able to catch up my initiation was a little bit on the shallow side and as you can see here Josh starts to pull away from me and I'm trying everything I can to catch up to him I'm trying to I'm having to cut the lines just to gain proximity like I said his car was super gripped up and he definitely had way more grip and way more speed than I did I was doing everything I could I had to cut lines in order to try to get proximity which ultimately was not the best you know tandem when it comes to being door to door but it was what I needed to do to try and get close proximity I was able to reel it in towards the end so I was still there you know didn't zero myself out or have a big issue so you know we're gonna we are going back up the hill to flip the order because in qualifying we spawned to pits in the battle we were not allowed to spawn to pits so we're heading back up the hill to flip order where I'm going to give a chance to lead which my lead could have been terrible on initiation but I managed to hold it Josh you know being the skilled ESDA driver he is was able to stay with me I mean you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about here and then you guys are gonna see from the podium broadcast and hear the announcers and everything like that so lining back up get ready for my lead definitely super cool to have the light sitting there you know rather than somebody just calling you know ready to go and stuff like that so we were waiting online for the judge call to tell us that we're ready to go that the stream was ready to go they were done watching the replays and the judges had the replays So the initiation right here, one tire in the grass, could have been terrible, but managed to hold it. As Josh is just on my door, he was very well controlled that he didn't smack into me on when I went one tire off. You know, like I said, his car was super gripped up, super impressed with how fast that 180 is. But overall, amazing battle experience, huge wall tap there, could have lost angle, but unfortunately, you know, I was able to manage the car and keep it in I did run up short here so that's what happened here in ESDA round two at mega space a little uh little 360 for flair style at the end so I'm gonna leave you guys to the podium esports broadcast you guys can hear the announcers for the win <laughs> so let's go to it I almost died in the wall all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to ESDA round number two here from mega space in Brazil my name is Keenan Kuz and joining me by Strix Pulse Tricks and Cisco's Comrosa sorry for the long break I was taking a poop uh <laughs> but uh 
we have something interesting for you here. This is not part of your co bracket competition today. This is a celebrity battle. This is going to be Josh McLean with arguably some of the most fun runs we've seen today going up against uh, Andrew K. It doesn't say. Okay. <laughs> Andrew, also known as Evil Rabbit. Evil Rabbit on YouTube. Go check, check them out. Um, fairly large YouTuber jumping into, uh, into ES Day trying to toss their hat in. Uh, and we're gonna just be sending this as a little exhibition run to get your get your um, get your throats moist here before we jump into competition. But here we are, little exhibition battle, ladies and gentlemen. Ignore that semifinals thing. And here we go, McLean in the lead. Evil Rabbit in the chase. Not sure what makes the rabbit so evil. That's intimidating. And that NRG GTR. Great entry from McLean and. Evil Rabbit trying to do something with it, but just not having the proximity. A little bit of bobble well as well on T number one. Going to go way shallow here on this oh. outer zone to try to gain some proximity. McLean and doing the dirt track, just bouncing off the wall like we've been seeing him do all day. But Evil Rabbit just cannot get to this lead car of Josh McLean and trying everything he can to gain some proximity for those of you watching at home. Big dive here into the final corner. Again, just the GTR, convertible GTR, by the way. Just can't do anything with it. McLean and strong lead run, showing why they were a solid top eight competitor. Oh, my God. Did you see the flames getting spat out of the exhaust on the hood? Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. That is the beastliest GTR I've ever seen in my life. That is incredible. Uh, as you can see, though, Evil Rabbit... Uh, trying to catch up to Josh McLean in here, trying to maintain proximity, giving it a little bit of space here. Flames just firing out of the hood. Not quite getting the angle that he wanted through that corner there, but heading into the penultimate corner. Got to make up a lot of distance, and he's definitely working on it. And then heading into the final corner, transitioning into it. Josh McLean and getting right close to that wall on transition as he's been doing all day. And Evil Rabbit, of course, they're in the picture. Uh, would have been interesting to see him in regular competition, but now we're going to swap sides and uh, see where we go from here. McLean in, in chase now. Evil Rabbit in the lead. Without the pressures of having to chase a car, we'll be able to see what this he can do. Big, a very fluid flick entry. One tire off. Is he able to bring it? Yes, yes, keeps it from zeroing, keeps it off the wall. That door wide open for McLean, though, in the chase position. Right onto the door of Evil Rabbit, getting as close as he can without getting a little bit too wacky. I expect we see McLean get a little bit aggressive. Oh, and another Ooh. a bit more significant of a wall hit from, uh, from Evil Rabbit. And the lead, huge gap now opened up. McLean going to take the opportunity to go a little bit shallow and really charge in right onto the door of Evil Rabbit across the line. It's going to come down to that contact and whether the judges view that as a contact of where did McLean and slow up? Did, did Evil Rabbit gain an advantage from that? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here, but it's going to come down to that, I think. You know, I'm, I'm going to be full honest here. All right, I'm going to be completely honest here. I was not sure what I was going to expect from Evil Rabbit. You know, ce celebrity battle kind of thing. I figured, eh, I am going to throw it in or whatever. But that was actually pretty good. That was actually really good there with that wall tap. A really aggressive wall tap as well. Uh, of course, the judges coming in with their, with their uh, judgment call here. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> that is, or for Evil Rabbit, that is going to be a McLean and win. Getting, ending ending, ending the, the comp before his birthday on a high note. I think the only mistake we really saw from Glean was going super shallow to be able to gain up on Evil Rabbit. But uh, not, not to, uh, not to uh, take too much away from Evil Rabbit. Um, you know, we, as, out of all the YouTubers that I, that I know and have watched at least a little bit um, that do a set of course drifting, that was probably one of the more solid runs that I could have expected. But uh, uh, thank you for coming out. Mr. Ra Mr. Rabbit, <laughs> that's not so dumb. Thank <laughs> you for coming out. Um, and uh, I hopefully we'll be able to see them uh, qualify and compete in tournament.